I am tired of living a life since I was a little kid for everybody else <laughs> and every single thing else that was around me that wanted me to do whatever. Oh, James, learn this. And oh, James, you're a magnet. And oh, James, steal this. And oh, James, help me with this. And oh, James, you're so amazing. And oh, James, I hate you. And oh, James. And you see what I mean? And that actually having some kind of bearing on who I think James really is. Because that's what this starts getting into. I don't know what this planet's playing around with. Because if people are vacant and they're loading each other with more programs and they don't even become present until a certain point, mainly when stuff gets haywire, it's like you're loading me in every time the trauma takes place. People start waking up when the trauma takes place. So this means that they were actually not even present except for when the trauma comes in and then like a baby, they get birthed into a traumatic situation because that's the only time that they're born. And you're actually telling me that you want me to set my life up in that same way to get ready to do that again. But on the one of the bigger levels. Oh, no, doc. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm on to it. I'm on to it. You're on to it. We're all on to it. It's not about us telling each other what we should be doing unless that's something that we want to do. And that's also what this is. There's a small little $79 premium for a whole month of just getting another perspective about some of the decisions that you may or may not make. You have to have the wherewithal, the fortitude, and the stability because I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, I've been 10 years, so I can't even sit down and talk about nothing that it don't get me right to the, to the point. Like every time I come in, it's not me and everybody else. It's me and me. I'm looking at yesterday's guy and be like, I got something for you. That last message you delivered. Yeah, it was good. It was nice. I like the way you put all that together, but I got something else. And it's even more simpler than that. And it's going to deal directly in your life and what you're experiencing right now. This is what I want you to share with everyone. It doesn't become any more. This is what they should hear. Because for all of us, when we catch that fortitude and that stability within each other of knowing that you're actually getting what you want, you know what you want. You know how aren't you tra attracted some, to somebody who knows what they want? You ever been around somebody who knows what they want? You ever been around somebody who doesn't know what they want? That that's a trip because it's like they ask you about to confirm everything. Should we take out the trash? <laughs> Should we lay on this side of the bed? Should we go to the job? Should we stay up at night? Should I go to school? Or should I stay home? Should I drive my car? Do you want to drive my car? Do you want to put on your seatbelt? Now, what is that a product of? Now, again, I'm not, I don't want anybody to feel like even if you're hearing this from somebody around you, even if you're doing this, I'm just waking us up because we're very advanced beings. But what does that sound like? What, where, where in a model can we find that kind of behavior? That, that is clone vacancy, basically. That means that the real being is actually completely hijacked. They're kind of like altered. They've been dealing with in so many times in their life where somebody else is projecting onto them what they want to be, they never got an opportunity to be themselves. So thus, at any moment where they have to make a decision about where they want to go, they don't know where to go because they're used to actually being open in that channel and actually having someone tell them where to go. Now, also, because this happens even on the most micro levels, this destroys stability. A person who does not know where they're going is not stable. Also, it's a certain energetic. So this means that it doesn't necessarily attract the right kind of being. Beings that are attracted to instability are the beings that want to tell you what to do. See, beings that want to tell another being what to do are attracted to beings that are unstable because they know that that's where they can do that at. This is, again, what I'm saying, the feedback system, because some of us do this to others and some of us are having this be being done to us. This is not today a conversation about who's the right one and who's the wrong one, because if you're not sitting on both sides, you're not playing the game. And this is 
where we have to get with our level of awareness. Like a lot of us have actually shifted in this entire conversation about thinking about how other people are doing this to us. And it's been a consistent left hemisphere experience until you turn around and realize, oh, shit, I'm doing that. (laughs) I'm doing that. And if you can't smile about it, then you're not having fun. (laughs) And if you're not having fun, then you're taking it serious. And if you're taking it serious, you're in the illusion And contrary to what you believe, why you think that you're actually going into awakening, which would actually be to experience yourself through all things, you're actually plunging yourself deeper into the illusion because you're only experiencing yourself as a solid, finite being. And this is where it all starts. This is how it keeps tying itself down. This is how the system works. This is to solve the cloning riddle. It's not that the being's not real. It's just that everything that the being interacted with wanted to change it. Now, some people are more susceptible to being changed. I will admit that for sure. They can get overwritten really easy. The society is also creating that phenomenon more and more. It's not even a racial or color thing. The society is creating a phenomenon Every single cat I know one that, that, that's uh, uh, Alcubulani and melanin uh, dominant, 90%, 80% of them cats want to make music. If it was to be a chemist and it was pushed that same way, 90% of them cats would want to be a chemist. Actually, some of them are. 